you know, listen. Here we go. Something. And here we go. Okay. This goes back to what I was saying, I think, two episodes ago. Maybe three, but definitely a few episodes ago. When we was talking about how the Saiyans were actually feared. And they just didn't want to get rid of them just to fucking get rid of them. There's a reason why they, they ha there has to be a bigger fucking reason. Listen, they were destroying planets left and right. They're, they're, they're bullying other planets, killing and ravaging all this shit, right? They made sure that this particular one was dealt with. I feel like even in within their own history, there's something that's missing that not even the Saiyans that we last seen even are aware about. I I I'm I I fully feel like the the, the Saiyans are actually on some Kryptonian level shit. Okay, they are Superman. That's the fear. That is the fear. I just, I, I say that so that y'all can visualize what the fuck I'm talking about. And you want to know something funny? Imagine, now, this is petty, right? But imagine, imagine if Toriyama saw Superman versus Goku, the death battle. Imagine if he saw that shit. And he you goes, think he didn't? No, but imagine. I just want, because you never know, because sometimes people don't, there's a lot of people out there that don't watch shit that is like, you know, theirs or whatever. It's, I don't know, it's weird. But listen, imagine if man's watched that shit or someone at Toei right that's involved in all this dragon ball stuff and they saw goku lose and they're just like hmm he got obliterated because listen they're both at the end of the day they are both written completely different cal l my man literally only and this is the this is the easiest way to just put that shit to rest and this is how i this is how i end this is how i start and end that conversation every single time is that soup only has to be as strong as he needs to be. Period. Goku always being written as the underdog every single time. He always gets to that point. But that just means at that at that rate, like there's time that needs to happen in order for him to even do the catching up. If soup wanted to deal with it, done. It's over. That is literally how it is. But what if all this retconning and shit now? What if they're like, you know what? Let's make these fucking sayings like that. Let's let's make it like that. <laughs> let's make it on some shit that no one's even gonna freaking see coming. Because honestly, it's just like, why would Beerus? Like he's old, right? He's been around. He's probably he's probably seen what the fuck was the reason why he told Frieza to fucking end them, son. And that's the thing too. Like, why? Why would he do that? Why would a god of destruction need to wipe out? A, why need to send someone else to wipe out a whole planet of you know fucking apes? Because like, you feel they weren't threatened. even strong back then. The future. I'm telling you. Right. Maybe they got. Maybe they got. They got one of them future balls. Uh, what? <laughs> what the fuck is <laughs> the future about the, the future He's balls, talking about man. like the orb. Oh. The orb. <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah but the, like the, like the, the you, crystal ball you, yeah okay crystal there it ball. is the crystal ball my man yeah, said future yeah. ball the future, the future ball <laughs> but you see what i mean like there's always a reason behind an action you know like even even to the dumbest of levels like criminals that rob banks are doing it because they want money to then go and do something else right that's on the most elementary level of understanding if a god of destruction whose job is to destroy in order to keep a balance in the universe why would he target a specific race because he must know something that no one else does he probably knows that the root the root sayings from like the beginning of their existence was a fucking problem. 
He, I'm telling you, it's probably going to tie back to Yamoshi whenever they decide to bring this motherfucker up, right? In the actual story, for real, for real. And this dude... What, like the true Super Saiyan? The true... Like... The first one. The, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The yeah. first one. I'm telling you, that that is the only sense I can pull from this. Because why? Why? If... if 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 the Saiyans themselves all they all work off of a class system where if if you're based off of, you're judged based off of your power level at birth at fucking birth okay and look what they did to Broly they were scared of themselves because of how strong this fucking this motherfucker what the hell this power level what the it's over 10 trillion get the throw them out these two Imagine a version of that where Beerus, young, young ass Beerus, fucking millions of years ago or some shit, he's over here fucking around with Champa, and then they see the Saiyans just birth, right? They just, they just, they just, they just come up, and then they see, they start watching these motherfuckers, and they're like, wow, they're fucking strong. Like, dude, there's no reason no reason why they there's no other reason that would make sense for them to just to i'm not gonna accept like oh he just randomly decided to, to choose the saiyans as to be the ones to to get got i i'm not gonna believe that i feel like there's a there's there's a higher reason and i feel like the saiyans when they see and that's the that's a part of it see because they already they already started transforming into fucking monkeys and even that was a problem, okay? Now imagine they learn, they truly learn how to harness that power. Like Yamoshi did. But, uh, exactly. I mean, yeah, but I exactly. mean, they would have to get to that point. Or so they would have to, they, like there would have to be a trigger event for them to go back to him, Yamoshi. How much I mean, Goku just got triggered. How much you want to bet? How much? How, I know. How much you want to bet? But, that but who then, who's gonna be the, the deciding factor to to say all this shit that we want to hear? Like, is it gonna be like beers? It's gonna have be, to be. Yeah, it's gonna have to be a higher deity that's gonna freaking spill the beans. Like they. Ha it would have to be. Like beers is about to be like. There's a reason why I decided to wake up because apparently I'm still looking for like the saying still or whatever the true shit how much want to bet <laughs> that you think if, he's still alive or did he die i don't know I'm, I'm sure, i don't know that much i'm not gonna speculate on right yeah. now it's too early for that right, right but right. for what's currently happening i'm telling you right now i bet you if goku goes through what we're literally laying out for them to just write in because it makes too much sense and they owe us so much money here <laughs> right i'm telling you Beerus is gonna have an ear twitch. He's gonna fucking feel it when it happens. And he's probably. The roar. Or what? No, the no, roar. No, he said the roar. The roar. The ro whether the it's the roar or whether when, when Goku finally just. The look. Like gets his shit. Could Beerus. Be the look. Is, he's gonna be napping. He's gonna be like. <laughs> he gonna, he gonna, he gonna, oh. And you know what would be, you know what would be like amazing about that scene if it does happen? It would prove that this does not only go back to the Tournament of Power, it goes all the way back to when they started Super. Why so? This was the moment that started it. What? Beerus waking up and starting Super and all of this Super Saiyan God everything else. This was the this was the first the version of Super Saiyan God or of the Saiyan race that he was looking for initially. Oh, okay. I think I understand what you're trying to say. Yeah, I know exactly what he's trying to say. Because after so, oh shit. So that means this goes all the way back to the first episode of Super. When he decided that to would be an amazing tie-in. I think, yo, I think low key, I, th <laughs> I think Beerus, Beerus's interpretation of what he calls Super Saiyan God is the true Super Saiyan. 
Exactly. That, yo, that's what, I've that's what been Kai's trying to say. This. That's what Kai's trying to say. Yeah, like this new version that we've been talking about that could come up, I'm pretty sure that's what Beerus is looking for. He's going to get that ear twitch for this and be like, this is what I was looking for. And that's, we've been waiting yeah, this whole this time. Crazy. <laughs> we've been waiting this whole time. Yeah, that shit literally goes over niggas' heads. Because I, I just thought, I never thought of it that way, to be honest. Yes. But it makes sense. It's, it makes for sense. For me, like Uchi, Uchi laid it out because he said the Beerus is going to get the ear twitch and be like, ah. And I, I, as soon as he said that, I was like, damn, that means this goes back to the beginning they've been plotting on this i wonder if they really have been or if it's just this is all accidental no nah. I, I mean you gotta you gotta think like, imagine though like they're just like oh wow oh okay this works let's just do it like this <laughs> <laughs> yo fuck that i mean shit. and we're still getting no money out of it of course <laughs> we do so much we do so much dissection and just analysis on this shit to the point where it's criminal like we feel like we're just getting <laughs> robbed because we see this shit happen as it's happening and it's like we're contributing to the story low-key oh that's that good shit <laughs>